G'day, this video is about compact discs and the application uh, in Year 12 Physics South Australia is, uh, is um, well the compact discs are the inter interference application. Uh, interference of light we'll talk a little bit more about later but uh, in this video I just want to talk about uh, the construction of compact discs and, um, and and a little bit of information about how the, the data or the information is stored on the disc. This picture here is a cross section of a CD as if the CD was sliced down the center and we're looking at it from the side of course. So there's the label there and, and sorry about this picture but um, it's a very good uh, picture but the labels haven't come out very well. Thank you to How Stuff Works for the image. Um, that says 125 nanometers. So that's the distance uh, between um, uh, that that distance there is actually that very very short distance is 125 nanometers uh, and this is uh, the the red part here is is the label this is the blue part is the acrylic an acrylic protective layer the the silvery color here is aluminium and uh, uh, the distance there is, is 1.2 millimeters. That's the thickness of, of all CDs and DVDs um, so that they fit in, in universal machines around the world, of course. Uh, the size of the CD is about uh, 12 centimeters, I think, like a uh, diameter of 12 centimeters. Is that right? Yes. Now, so CD manufacturers. Uh, they, they start with a polycarbonate plastic layer and they create a series of, of pits in that layer. The pits, um, actually the, the CD is uh, of course circular and the track, unlike records, the old records, the track is read from uh, the inside out. So we have a, a track that looks something like a spiral and this of course is not to scale. That spiral that fits on that 12 centimeter disc uh, is um, is about is between five and eight kilometers long in the end. So it's it's very very fine. It's very very narrow. And CD manufacturers uh, cut these these pits, and I'll just label those as pits. We'll color those yellow. It's a does that come up okay? That that's kind of visible. Uh, they are each pits, and in green, do these areas here, uh, and they call this the lands or land. So this polycarbonate plastic layer is scratched with these these pits and over the top they they spray this they sputter this aluminium layer here and very short a very short time afterwards they they spray on an acrylic layer and that acrylic layer of course protects the aluminium layer because the aluminium is susceptible to corrosion uh, and and then there's a label that goes on top and we all have experience with the label on top and we have experience with the polycarbonate plastic on the bottom. The polycarbonate plastic is what makes up most of the CD and it's a, it's a good thing that the track is the track is way up here deep in the CD. This is this is of course where the laser reads down the bottom here. Um, you might have noticed that uh, DVD stores they they put they put their DVDs in a machine and, and actually polish this polycarbonate plastic layer to remove any scratches that have occurred. You can repair CDs. Um, the scratches that have occurred have, have not occurred to the, the actual information which is, which is on this mirrored aluminium surface here. It's only the plastic layer that's been damaged and, and that can be repaired easily. So uh, how is information, how is uh, data stored on CDs? Uh, well, data is uh, in the form of binary code and 
most people have some experience with that now. Uh, basically a series of ones and zeros and and depending on the series how how the sequence of, of ones and the sequence of zeros and how they they come after each other um, tells you something about or gives you gives you a piece of information and this this series here actually is uh, um, going from uh, right to left uh, it's it's one uh, so uh, I'll go from here, just point out that I'm going from here. Uh, 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus uh, 1, 2, 2 to the power of 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 to the power of 6. And we add those up uh, to the power of 6 is 64 plus 2 to the power of 3 is 8 plus the 1 on the end there we have equal to 73 so that that binary code there that I, I wrote randomly uh, is equal to the number 73 and how is it that we get this binary code of ones and zeros into these uh, series of, of, of pits? Now remember, um, I'm, I'm calling them pits now because that's the way the CD manufacturers make them, but they actually, they're red from the bottom here. And you might have noticed um, that they're, they're red with a laser, and the laser actually comes up through this polycarbonate plastic layer here and is reflected. That's why we use the aluminium. Aluminium uh, makes a nice mirrored surface when it's not oxidized. Uh, and, and what the laser sees of course is, is bumps and land. So we've got land here and then we have a bump. And so um, I'd, I'd rather call them bumps because we're going to in the later video I'll show you, the, I'll show you a, an electron micrograph of what the bumps look like uh, close up with the with the microscope. Um, so the laser uh, basically reads this information. So the land here and the bump here. Well, actually, what it is, um, put very simply, is a cha any change represents a one. So uh, I'll just do this in a different color, and I'll do it at the top here. If we have, I'm just mimicking the land and pits that we have, a uh, land and bump, sorry, that we have there. Now, uh, with no change, we have a set of zeros. It keeps reading zeros. When there's a change, it represents a one. Then we go back to zero across here, and then we have a change, one, zeros, one, zero in there, one for the change here again, uh, zero, one, zero, one, and then zeros. And and if the if the land continued on, then we would just continue to have zeros until we saw another change, and and that change is is where a bump starts or finishes. Um, so that's uh, oh now um, very important with. Uh, the, the the height of these bumps or the depth of the pits is, is this 125 nanometers and in a later video I'll explain why that has to be uh, very a very specific distance um, otherwise everything else is 1.2 millimeters probably has something to do with the fact that uh, they're quite uh, a sturdy construction at that thickness the polycarbonate plastic it doesn't break very easily um, yeah, so uh, we'll talk about interference in the next video. Thanks for watching.